Hey, everybody. My name is Arne Verhagen and I'm an educational consultant. I'm also the owner and founder of EduFuture. Uh, you can check more info on uh, my website www.edifuture.eu. EduFuture is an educational consultancy firm uh, that helps people to organize tailor-made study visits to the Finnish education system and we also do, con do consultancy and workshops abroad. We have been working for over five years now and we have had more almost thousand participants that came from all over the world to observe the Finnish education system. One of the nicest things about the Finnish education system is of course the, that everything is free. So uh, I think you're all very excited as parents and students to go to the Finnish education system to become a part of the Finnish education system and when you can become a permanent resident in this country it will be really easy for you to get free education as well in basic education as also in higher education. The benefits of the Finnish education system are of course that everybody's equal. Finland works really a lot with equality so there is no difference between poor or rich in a sense of education. Everybody has the same possibilities, meaning also that you have to go to the school that's nearest to your home. So it doesn't matter if you think another school is better or not. In this other school that you think would be better is no place for your child. Because everybody believes that the nearest school is your best school. So the neighborhood school is your best school. This goes from the comprehensive school system. Like most of you probably already know, the Finnish education system starts at the age of 7 and goes till the age of 16. This is this 9 years are the obligatory school times. So afterwards kids are free to choose what they want to do. They can go to work. That is a very small percentage that chooses that option. Most of the kids go or to vocational school or to upper secondary school. Vocational school is really practical in Finland and is equally uh, appreciated as upper secondary school. So that means that it's 50-50. Half of the students after the comprehensive school system choose for this uh, upper secondary school and half of them for vocational school. In the upper secondary school is very flexible system. It's three to four years and you do in total 70 five courses. The 75 courses, they take 38 hours uh, per course. So this that's why you need three to four years. It's very flexible, so every student has their own system and has their own schedule, meaning that you can really focus already on what you want to study later on. Let's give me an example. For instance, if you're interested in mathematics, you can go really in-depth in mathematics in this upper secondary school system. On the opposite, if you're interested in social sciences, you're also very. Uh, it's also very likely that you can already a lot, do a lot of courses, and hereby also really get more in depth and ready to go and study university. In order to go and study to university, you need to do an entrance exam. So it doesn't matter if you want to become a doctor, a history teacher, or you just want to study mathematics. For all of these, you have to do an entrance exam. These quota are defined by the university, so they they're very dependent on what the universities want and also on what the society is at that moment looking for. After uh, you get uh, to the entrance exams and you pass the entrance exam, you can start at university. So the Finnish education system uh, is different in what uh, to many other countries because there is no competition. No competition is one of the biggest elements that, like you know, as you can see in other countries where there's a lot of competition between schools, between students, between parents, looking for the right school, like studying really hard, looking for opportunities. In Finland, everybody has equal opportunities to go eventually to the uh, to become a doctor, in, meaning a P, get a PhD. So it doesn't matter if you do vocational school studies or you do later on as well. You just would go for... Uh, the upper secondary school. Any track that you will choose will bring you, can bring you, not will bring you, but can bring you to a PhD. So it's really important to remember that there's no dead ends in the Finnish education system. 
what is also remarkable about the Finnish education is the extreme freedom that teachers like myself have to teach in classroom. So it means that I can define what I want to teach and how I want to teach. Of course, there is like a national curriculum that we all follow, but uh, we have a lot of freedom to try different kinds of uh, forms of teaching. For instance, team-based learning or flipped classroom or many of these elements. So teachers are very autonomous. Also schools are very autonomous. And also that means that also students are very autonomous. So you will have to take your responsibility for your own learning. In a lot of countries we learn because of parents. We learn because of the society predicts us that if we don't learn we will fail in the society. In Finland you learn for yourself. So you, at the early age you taught that l you learn because it's important to learn. And it's important to get new talents and skills. And that's really, that's the most important thing. And you can do it at your own rhythm. And I think with many countries that's a big difference. So Finland would give you the opportunity to kind of develop your own talents and also make it easier for you to adapt to the life in Finland later on. Of course, like many of you, they, uh, you will be studying uh, languages, Finnish, but also I, uh, I assume like there's other languages, like you, know, we'll, you all will speak English because you're listening this, so that's really important. And then I think it's really easy to integrate in the Finnish society. So I think as such, Finland offers a lot of opportunities for young people willing to develop themselves, willing to grow as persons, but also as professionals, and especially as learners. Finland is definitely a place where you can feel safe to learn and to grow and to develop, to become something you have always wanted to become. Let it be a plumber or a doctor. So I think if you choose to come to Finland, I wish you all the best and if you need like you want to come and you want to see the system before you come don't hesitate to contact us via our website www.edifuture.eu so have a beautiful day and hope to see you soon in Finland